a lot of people might say, why is Mela hot now? Hot in a Jamaica, like when I have a big mantra song, we yeah. can tour anytime, anywhere. I learned that voicemail is the reason why Japanese start to, do, to start dancing. Scare them. Scare them was the, the dancehall group who inspired me, where dancehall group is concerned. You know? Deli ranks. And Deli ranks, I say, yo, no must bus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Big ups to Deli ranks, because I said across the globe. Deli have ears for talent, full stop. It's a cheeky time again, cheeky time again, it's already... Bogo go in there and that was the night, bro. Yeah. Bogo lo say, hear this. After I give them the place to run and them couldn't run it. How the time protection. Mm. Hi, right, welcome to another episode of Inside the Music Pelper Time TV. I'm your host, Jeezy B, and we're here with a special guest today. You know what I mean? Goes by the name of Craig from Voice Milk. It, it, we are going let's with. Let's go. They are all our vibes, you know. Love seeing yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we love it, man. Yeah. I mean, if we, if, if, we, if, we, if we love it, then you know we, we definitely will be successful at it, you know what yeah, I mean? Right. Once we so start apply with ourselves. Yeah, man, it starts with love. Anything you do, it start with that first. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. We're gonna talk about early days with Craig Noka. We talk to your, your brother. Yeah. From another mother and <laughs> know where him fought as a country youth and things. So where you fought from? Yeah, man, straight Kingstonian man, born and raised, um, all over from Westminster to Waltham, Campbell's Boulevard, Mackinley Crescent, um, Waterhouse, Toil, you name it. So where the move, so. <laughs> Well, one thing as a garrison youth, you know, you're going to move. Yeah. You know, but, well, you know, violence, we love... Violence? What? No, no move? violence. You know, peer, parents, you know, more time, you know, me, me and my father built a relationship late, so it was just my mother. And then after that, you know, it was my grandmother, godmother, everything in our one. Um, start, you know, to live with my grandmother in Westminster. So I spend oh. the rest of my days um, growing up with her, you know. Yeah. She, she, she are my hero. You know, the greatest philosopher I ever know. Rest, rest well. Yeah. You know, yeah, so ma. yeah, man. Well. The bastard, man. Everybody who know, anybody who know me, always hear me talk about my mamsy. I'ma call her mamsy because she is more than just a grandmother, a godmother. She's a mother. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mother's mother. Yes. <laughs> so. You know what I mean? Makes sense. So how was it like growing up, moving around like um, as a young youth? Well, as a young youth, you know, as a garrison youth, you experience all heap of thing and you. You, you see a whole heap of thing, you know what I mean? At one point, we done the, we done the dark part, you know, where me I do. Things I'm enough to do. Things I can't even talk about. Yeah. You see me I say? And after losing my brother in 92, kind of put a clarity cloud in front of me. You know what I mean? Give me life a different perspective. And for see my grandmother, grandmother cry for the first time, kind of shift my soul a little bit different. So I decide, say, you know what? It's either two things. Either... I choose to live, and I choose to pass on, yeah. and I choose life. I choose, I so, choose life. Yeah, man. So I start, I start living with my grandmother from then, and everything else has been a blessing. You know what I mean? As I say, a garrison youth who we got through all the tough times you can think of, from not having food to going to your bed hungry to, you know, um, things reach so hard where my mother couldn't get to work, and... You know, we call it a Jamaica catch. Yeah. You know, catch a friend in the yard and, you know, sometimes the friend will look like she had treated her good and the next minute and I saw it go, you know, you sleep on the ground and you go piece of cardboard, that's how we intro. But one thing, one thing always instilling in me, you know, care how hard it is, was love. True. I mean, I appreciate that with my mother more than anything else. If I don't love my mother for nothing else, I love her for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sure she always, that. yeah. So if I, if we depend on the ground, I do all away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love. And it was, it was joyful in a sense, if you ask me, you know what I mean? Because... Yeah, because you really don't know. It, at some age, certain things don't really affect you. Exactly. Yeah, you I just know, say, I'm ma, ma happy. I'm ma, 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 yeah. ma with my mother. I'm a brother at the time. Me and Shellan, I just me and Shellan at the time. You know, before Patrick start live with we, uh, which is... Ari Tadla. Yeah. And then I'm learn to say Ari Tadla your blood yeah. brother. And then this lady they just 
Tyler, they just love go to this lady named Junie over our yard and Tyler end up just start sleep there and end up now I come home. Yeah. You know, mother was cool with that and you know, June pretty much have a hand in raising Tadla. And you know, fast forward, you know, better days start coming together now. I start living with my grandmother and the late that lady was just the, the lady who pretty much instilled most of what needs to be instilled in me as a man. You know, because like I say, my mother instill love. And for me personally, that is the purest form of living, if you ask me. Because with love, like you say, certain things at the early years not, not really yeah, bother you. Fears. Oh, it fears it not fears me because I have love. As much as I might not have the food at the time, I have love. So at one point, it was just me, Shellan, and Patrick, and my mother. Boom, get a little older now, start living with my grandmother, my mother migrate, my big sister. So come, you want to meet my mother? Boom, meet my mother, take her up. So just me and mums, you know, my brother, you know, moved to the country to live with my auntie and cousin them and him did love country for a man in Sheldon. Yeah. So I ended up migrating to the country. So I just me and Patrick there at Kingston. As you know, you know, Tadla became a superstar. And that gave me a different type of hope. And I said, yo, my brother I want a star, bro. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not pre music see me. I'm just happy. My brother is a star. Yeah, that alone. That's it. Yeah. Just, yo, my brother is a star. Yeah, man. So when we used to go to the basketball court, you know, the latest sneakers, them, everybody think me rich. Yeah. But I'm not rich. Mm. Just have a famous brother. We can bring some sneakers. One time, we say, yo, tell her, you don't want the shoes, yeah, man. I said, no, man, you can't take it. Yeah. And I mean that. I'm good with it. You're good with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, my mom's here. You know, these are the earlier days where me is concerned and everybody who would know me at that point knows I want to fly a plane. Yeah, yeah I'm a man. pilot. Pilot. Yeah. You know, aviation school was a big vibe for me and I had everything to put all of the funds that I can think of. But music has always been a part of me. Yeah, true. As I said, my brother became a star. So I start look to music now. Not to be, not professionally, you know, just start look to music, you know, in a different way. I always just listen to music, but I start to appreciate it in a different way you now. Boom, fast forward, finish high school, don't have a clue what I go do. You know what? You know what? You know, your teens, you don't know what you want to do. The direction they really. Yeah, like some people have them plans, I never have none. I just know someone want to fly a plane. That's that it. Yeah. Music was never on the agenda, say, so, yo, I go be an artist. Anyway, still a fool around the music. I start, before I finish high school, I used to go by O'Neill, down by Dwayne Park. But I never used to go there because of O'Neill. I used to go there for, to play a game with him brother, Kerry. Yeah. You know, Street Fighter, Martel, that used to be with thing. Yeah. So I used to leave school and go there. And During that time, every time, you know, I play the game or I play a game, you know, I always had their home melodies. So one day, only he said to me, but you can't sing, man. I said, no, sir. Yeah. Sing, my man. Man said, yeah, you can't sing. But I was singing a falsetto at the time. I never know what that, what that was. Yeah, yeah. Him just always hear me singing on my falsetto. And I said, yo, why you don't try singing on your, your talking voice? I said, what do you mean? I said, it's like how oh, your sound talking now. Sing like that. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I said, yeah. So you, must start, so you must start singing. So O'Neill was the one who pretty much discovered the fact that you can't sing. Yeah. In a, where, bro, you're singing, but you're not singing, and you're re, like you're full, you're you're full tone. Yeah, 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 you use this fast set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, you couldn't tell me nothing. You know, say, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, that, the voice that. I said, no, that I just one side. Mm -hmm. Start paying that a little bit more attention, so I start gravitating now to that. Moving forward now, as I said, my brother, they must start scared them was one of the artists, one of the artists dance our group. And one, one, one day, I try to remember a sovereign. Them time the sovereign just opened up and everything. And for whatever reason, I don't know which school I say, Eli Kola here. Yeah. And it was pandemonium. The kids them just rush them and them run go hide in at this little store and me I said, but what is a rock star thing this man? Yeah, yeah. That was the first 
um, spark where me I say, yo, that feel good in and I know me them run yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Can I imagine just if look I look like it feel good? Yeah. Another night, elephant, no, man, yes, yeah. elephant man them say, oh, you know, but it was it was the group there at the time. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward, one night I go um me go link toddler a Ken Cat, and I did him and Beanie and you know a couple more of the fans them a reason. So me go there like a little bit after eight, you know, just go link, link my brother and all the vibes and man them a chat till after three in the morning. And I just enjoy the way we are enjoy, we are enjoy the reasoning no matter about everything. I say to myself, I some music nice, bro. I don't want to be a part of this. That was the night me decided to say, I want to be a part of music. Just, so just we, being in the studio. Just, yard. No, studio and yard. it wasn't a studio yard, it was just a yard. Okay. At the time, my well, father. Anyway, used, artist group of colleagues at studio yard. Exactly. Yeah. My father used to live at Kenkat at the time, and, you know, Tadla always there at the yard. So I'm going to link. I'm going to link Tadlan. So with that reasoning there, Scare Them. Scare Them was the, the dancehall group who inspired me where dancehall group is concerned. You know what I mean? I always I grew up on listening to R&B and gospel. You know, I, I, I fall in love with dancehall after. Mm. So more time when people will ask me how my sound so when I sing, so just the music was influenced yeah, by. Yeah. You R&B. Know? R&B and gospel. That I used to listen. And then I fall in love with dance and then I fall in love with reggae and bro, you couldn't tell me some of the music I do. So I found my own little group in my in a, in a my neighbor space you now. We we'll call it VOH. Yeah. Voices of Harmony. Voices of <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, and, you gotcha. know, we do a little thing and I leave high school now and I say, yo, music I want to do, you know. Yeah. I mean, I could have do anything else. I could have, could have continued school. I could have got college. I qualify. I have, have all the qualifications for go college. Right. I mean, I say, yo, I'm music. I could do, you know. Yeah, man. I'm Boom. VOH there for take on the world. Yeah, man. That me tell myself. Boom. <laughs> Nothing no, I'm going to VOH. I just a like a community thing and I will have vibe see me. So nah. a friend of mine, I love you. Can't forget I love you. Oh, my God. I love you. Um, tell me about an in uh, an audition. A group of people was doing an audition, so them looking for talent. Yeah. At the time, I never know that they were looking for a group. Them just looking for talent. So me, I said, all right, me and my group, I go up, they go mash it up. So I tell me, tell tell me, tell my group, you know, say, yo, we have a we have an audition where we are gonna mash up, you know. Boom, we we'll go. Sing as the group. Them say thank you and we leave. We we'll go outside and. Um, somebody come back in and call me and say, and them say, if I can sing by myself. Yeah. Say, yeah, man, no problem. So I sing by myself. And them say, all right, sound really good. We give you a call. When my friend was telling me about the audition, I never take it serious. I yes. said, them people, they never got really call you back. They tell you, so they never call you back and never call you back. So I really just I go for the fun of it. Yeah, just Because she said, for go, yeah. All right, I love you. I go. I go. Later on in the night, I get a call and the phone was Leon, Robert and Kevin. Yeah. And they say, is this correct? I say, yeah. They say, they tell me them name and they say, yo, them, you know, them did enter the, the competition, the audition thing and they were looking, they were actually looking for a group and I was selected. Yeah. So I say, okay, mad. We talk a little bit and they say, if we can link up tomorrow. So it was just me, Kevin, Leon, and Robert. Four away. Yeah. Kevin was, I think Kevin did not live at Daytona at the time. Boom. What more? What well, comes up, boom, I'm a link up upstairs, right at the front of Daytona. There's somebody there, I drink, drink a bag juice and I eat a bulla. So Kevin come out and say, Yo, are you named Craig? Mmm. Yeah, <laughs> so then I laugh off at me, too. I can't chew the bulla. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we meet everybody now. And we start, you know. So oh we are gonna do this. So we start select little songs where we are gonna practice and we get for you everybody so and Kevin explained to me, say, yo, you know, I never really go for the music still, you know, I just carry and Robert at the audition and Robert being the comedian that to me is just say, yo, we are a group. When them say, yo, we're looking for a group and them just jump up and say, Yeah, we are a group. And them say, Where the group name? Him just say, Vice Mail. 
mm. just out of 10 years. So. 10 years, yeah. So Kevin get pulled in at the group and uh, him just carry them at the audition. Yeah. I don't know if him did tell you that I'm part there, but... Yeah, man, him show me the part, so, man, him tell me the part. Boom, Kevin a part of the group now. Kevin never have no plans to do music or whatever. So we, we, we always say, yo, we turn Kevin in an artist. Boom. The people, the organizers, them see the four of it together and say, yo, this look real nice. You know, some handsome young men and... But we need a bass singer though. After yeah. them hear his sound, them I say, you guys sound really good, you know, but we need a bass singer. So we, you know, we start do a rehearsal and we did have someone in mind, you know, which is O'Neill. So after we done eat lunch, you know, lunch at the time was mackerel and rice. You know, Kevin was the chef. Yeah. So every day we eat mackerel and rice. Yeah. <laughs> every single day. Yeah. So one day we done rehearsal and I said, yo, you know, me have a bass singer. I said, call him then, no? So I call on him, I introduce the idea to him. I said, yo, bro, you know, say, you know, say, me know one group and we look at bass singer. And he said, you know, I don't do music right now. I just focus on my business because he had a successful buy and sell business. Like, oh, if you want a fridge or me want a stove, him travel and him buy it and him send yeah, it, ship it. That was his business and he was doing it really well for himself. But I know only love music. So I said, I said, I said, you can't, you can't, you can't give me an ear still, man. Just come check me out, man. And he said, no. Boom, him hung up, him called me back, and him I said, let me hear on the song. So we sing over the phone. I think we sing. I go, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you did, as long don't as you... In sync, man, In-sync. Backstreet Boys and them. Them yeah, time, yeah. them group, they are on the place. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I only was impressed him. I said, what are they? And him come link up. That was Vice Mail. Boom, Vice Mail at five now. Mikey Bennett. We went to, went to Grafton to meet up with Tissa Linton, you know, who was the lady and who put the group together. She and a, a friend of ours. Um, I think she named Blair, too. I don't remember her name. And then she see the five of me and she said, now this is Vice Mail. Yeah. So, big ups to Mikey Bennett, Grafton became our home. So, every weekend we're there at the studio. And we rehearse, 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 and we rehearse. You know what I mean? Mikey Bennett will, you know, give, in, give his little two cents. I remember one of the things that Mikey Bennett, him <laughs> see the interview, I'm going to say, Craig, and this, and this line. But one of the things that stick with me, um, from Mikey said it. Mikey said to us one day, say, yo, if we don't sing some reggae, we're going to dead for hungry, you know. Yeah. Never forget that. I'm always, always talk about that when we do interviews. Why? Because that kind of changed my perspective and how I want to move forward. No, like I said, I was raised on R&B and gospel as a Jamaican. Yeah. And then I fall in love with dan- reggae and dance hall after. So my love for reggae, grew even more because I said, all right, well, reggae can be my R&B, you know, that used to be my say. It still is today. Reggae is my R&B. When I get a reggae rhythm, I just sing. I do me like a sing J-Park, because you know a dance hall, because I love dance hall as well. Danny Champagne came into play, you know, and Danny loved the sound, love how we look. Danny loved the songs, them way I sing, where we are cover, so to speak. So Danny did a song with us named Remedy. Remedy. Did a whole photo shoot. I don't, yo, I said, yeah. that, I, I, Kevin, I don't want to always have things in the archive. I don't know if he still have that CD there, but me ask him. Would a nice photo see that? Yeah. We do a photo shoot, you yeah, know, like a photo shoot in a leather. Yeah, man, a silk shirt and back of something. Big photo shoot. Danny Champagne, rest well. Boom. Do up CDs and everything. Danny ensure I said, all I'm friends them get it and you know, we and Danny end up working on another project. Never done a photo shoot for that one there, but we did another project. Boom. Danny did have to, you know, get some work in. So we and Danny did kind of stop work for a little bit. And we had, you know, go on experience, you know. We start build relationship now, you know, with the Jerry D's and we used to just do Drops and jingles, and the first time, first time Vice Mail play on the radio, it was never a song, it was a jingle. Yeah, yeah. And may I tell you, we were beyond elated, bro. You would swear. Yeah. 
We just hear so we sang the number one. Boss, boss. But I'm a voice step on the radio. My voice step on the radio, bro. It feels so good. Still feel good up to this day when we hear ourselves. As crazy as that might sound. Yeah. Boom. Moving forward, Danny came back in the picture. Um, Danny came back in the picture when it was just me, Kevin, and Oni. Yeah. Because Leon, Leon decided to go back home. Yeah, man, I'm <laughs> yeah, so Robert, we... Robert, never tell the same. When him go, when him, when him, when him go in the States, him now go come back. We just get a call, say, yo, Leon are there, you know, so, me not, not look like this, I go work, you know, so, him pretty much go his way. So, me and, remember, me and O'Neill on the phone, trying to convince Robert to stay, and him never stay. Mm. Moving forward again, me, Kevin and O'Neill now, and O'Neill was adamant about auditioning two people now because you know the group have a will fall in love with the sound of five of five yeah so me i said yeah only lads i go back and forth i said bro if the three we can do it better we love it bro because we are going to audition people now and it feel like we're going to start all over again and look how far we reach already but the three we do it so we, we'll make a we'll make a promise we say all right only give us six months if it don't work as a three in a six months then we'll audition two people I said, I'll be the lead singer. I wasn't the lead singer. Leon was the lead singer. Yeah. So, me put me, this is, this is a task now. I said, yo, we'll make a deal. Give me six months, and if it don't work, you can't audition. So, I pick up the keyboard, and I start practicing just cards, you know? Just cards, not practicing how to play the keyboard. Get familiar with cards, because I know I love harmonies, and I want to be better at it. So I start nurturing my craft now where harmonies is concerned. Not knowing that by playing the piano, it tune, tune my hearing. Yeah, yeah. So I will hear a melody and I know exactly what is missing. I will know if it's the third, the fifth. I will invert it, I will augment it, whatever. So I start, I start, I start seeing music in colors. Musicians will understand that. I start seeing notes in color, so when we hear something, I say, oh, that I read, all right, boom, it need this, it need that. So I find, say, wow, music nice, man, different love for music all over again. First song we recorded was with Arif Cooper, Rest Well. Um, a song go, I go, I never really want to let you go, but I guess that's how life has to go. I never really want you out the door But I guess that's how the story goes I never know two people could be so close In the end, them a ball and one divorce Boom! O'Neill heard that sound and I said, oh, that sound, O'Neill! Yeah. Oh, that sound! I said, it sound good, it sound good I said, stop, go answer, dog, it bad! I said, yeah, it bad Still not convinced yet All right link up with Tony Kelly again because before we link up with Tony Kelly before when it was five of us mm -hmm. and we did um a song on the on the on the bio um um uh, we can work it out even when the breeze is blowing and the rain is pouring Leon as I said was the lead singer which was awesome boom we li link up back with Tony Kelly at this time now we are powering Delhi Ranks and Delhi Ranks I say yo no must bus yeah you know what I mean? Big ups to Deli Ranks, because he's one of my a and in a dance hall. I said across the globe, Deli have my ears for talent, full stop. Deli, Mr. G, Arif, Bounty Killer. I don't know about nobody else. He said them four people. They them have ears for them music. Them have ears for talent. Them will know, say, this bad or this is going to work or them know. Them know to tell if you love it though. Trust me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Deli was the one who Say yo, I'm a youth named Stephen McGregor and I'm going to bust and run the whole Jamaica. Yeah, I'm going to live that. And I can't tell you about home so many more. Boom. So we and Delia Par and Delia say, yo, no must bust. Me and Delia Par a little bit more now and Delia say, yo, you're half a bust in the dark. Just believe me, you're half a bust. I say, I believe you, man. We link up with Tony now. We do a song named Ada. Say she wanted a harder every day. We and Delia Ranks. And we do our next song on the, on the rhythm name, Bongsad. Call you a Bongsad. Mangle and shake for fun. Now we work. Here we are work. Yeah, work. Boom. Them songs, they are 
we are here, we are here with self and radio now. Tony Kelly had a great Tony Kelly we are working with now. We are here with song and radio and we are here with Arif song and O'Neill Convince and this are less than three months. Come up, 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 up. Adamant about proving to Oni, say yo, the three we can do it, bro. Less than six months. Less than three months, and a six three. months, I ask him for, I will do this in a less than three months. So one day I call him and I say, bro, if you're not convinced now, you're being difficult. And I'm gonna laugh and I say, no man, I'm convinced. We're gonna do this. I say, all right, boom, that's all I did need for you. Yeah. And you see from me here that the universe connect all the dots. Danny came back into play. Me there, Danny Yard, and me I said, Danny, you need to set up a studio in the house, bro. Danny set up a studio. Just by linking Danny, I got you one book and I said, Danny, are you right this? He said, yeah. I just mess around and fling some melody around it. I said, Danny, tell me what you think about this. I'm going to sing it. I said, yo, you can't do that. So what do you mean? I said, put melodies around. I said, yeah. He's a melody artist. Just be just said that. <laughs> so then they go around this and take up a stack of book. And I said, I write them here when I did lock up, you know. I <laughs> said, Daddy, how oh, yeah, are you going to all of them books yeah. So right. anyway, I got through and out of the blues, Daddy said, I have an idea. Yo, I have, have an idea, you know. So what that? I have an idea for you to do a song with, with Boga. So what do you mean? I said, yeah, man. I'm going to sing, man, and him dance. What do you think? I said, I could try it now. And we did it just a vibe and I said, Danny, we can't do a dance song with, with, with Bogle. No, I said, we can't do a song with Bogle and him not there, you know. So I did have a friend with him apart at the time named Too Tall. So I said, Too Tall, go down to Roses and see if you see Bogle. So I call and I get him. I said, yo, I'm down there. I pick him up. Pick up Bogle. Bogle come back at the yard. I call Delhi. I said, yo, Delhi, where you there? Because I tell you, we are in Delhi apart. Yeah, Delhi ranks. The one thing when I love with dance hall, you have... You have a time where you see a group of artists just apart. You know what I mean? So if Delia goes over, I say, yo, may I go up to Andrews and you know, the whole of us gang it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Makes Dance sense. hall. In you know, Jamaica, we call it Bam Rush. You can't beat that at our culture. I don't know if that really. It go no. no it's, not, it go on. It go on. But that's good. That's yeah, good. Because that's our culture. I like that. Crowd Boom. Them and the whole of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nigeria and the whole of them. I like that nice little energy there. Mm. Boom. Delhi forward, and both with us there, they attack, and we just a laugh, just a laugh. Remember, we're supposed to write a song, you know. So anytime Bogle say certain things what I like, I write it down. No, I not write a song, but just I write it down. Yo, I like the line there. Yo, man, I give them the place run, and them not run it, man. Coop, I coop them up, man. I foul them. I saw me, I write, me, I say, yo, that bad, and I just a laugh. And I drink him, I drink him red stripe, and we all laugh. So night come down now, and we all say, yo, we now go to the studio. Danny said, yeah man, we are going to Big Yard. I we go Big Yard. At the time, Damien and Nigel Ballas was the, was the engineer at Big Yard. We now have a song, you know, bro. We just have lines. And Bo Glal is, I said, jiki jiki, wedi wedi. Boom. Danny met the rhythm. Everything was, everything was just on point. At, at the yard, whatever. Right yeah, there. man. Boom, Birch. Birch sent cross. And... Ready, session set up. I just go in there and read. Eh, 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 eh. It's a cheeky time again. Cheeky time again. It's already. Boom. Studio mash up, bug lag. Yeah. Yeah. In my head, I say, what just happened? Because as I said, we don't have a song. We just did a write down lines. Because it was just such a joy for being at the present where Bogle is. And him just a talk and him, bro, just joyful. That song did, and as such, it was such a, it was such a joyful day. Oh, the whole week was a joyful week. And as I said to you, all of that stem connect now because O'Neill accepts say, yo, the three we can do it, so we are going to do it. And that is what me personally they want here. Boom, with the other studio and everything nice. So the punchline done, ready again. Bust the place. Bust the place. Don't know what is Bust the place, me just a dance. All right, some are bunks. Both have some dance, so me just a call them out. Walk with the bunks. Walk with the bunks. Yeah. I'm going to come out, studio and mash up. So you say, Emma, dance, and you just a... 
Google just a dance in, in the, the studio. studio. And you just a sing what you want to do. And I just a, me just a, me just a, me just a watch and me a sing. Because as I say, me did write down some line, me did write down jiggy jiggy, weddy weddy. You know what I mean? Because the always do weddy weddy weddy. So me now as a melody artist, me just say, all right. It's a cheeky time again. I'ma repeat that. And then I just go, it's a witty time again. That was the punchline. And as I said, Damon and, and Nigel Ball was the was the engineer. And when the man the whole song and edit it, you know, you would never believe how, this, how it was before. So Delhi go in and Delhi 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 mash up theme part and then Bogle go in there and that was the night, bro. Yeah. Bogle just said, hear this. After I give them the place to run and them couldn't run it. And just attack a bag or something and the student there for fire, bro. Yeah. Beer joy. Song done. Damien and Michael work them magic. Edit. Mix and master. Balance. No, we don't reach the mix part yet. Yeah, mix yet. Back at Danny Yard now. Carleen, Nigel staff, Nigel come, and uh, Nigel staff and Birch, cause a a, a Birch Birch be the rhythm, and then E B come mix the song. She E B, oh, E B is the boss. Yeah. That's she and Brown father. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? I say E B mix a song for Vice Meal. This must it be that we are saying at the room. Then we take her on the street now. Bogle say, yo, may I carry her in the street? Danny, carry her in the club. Bogle, carry her in the street. Bogle, I drive F-150 at the time, and the only song he was playing there was Weddy Time. So anywhere he pull up, Weddy Time. Door open, music I play. Danny Champagne now say, all right, Ribby, this song, every night the club open, we're playing it. Them did have a Sunday night thing, I think Pretty Boy Fly was the MC and the song used to be the song where we used as a competition, you know, whatever competition going on at the time. This was the song, Where the Time. Jesus Christ, Where the Time Blow. Yeah, my God. Help her. Every turn, every twist, every angle, every everywhere you go, every So what where was the your time. like reaction when, when this when Bro, the even now just even now just talking about it and for no I, I've said this so many times. It's not me being ungrateful, it's just when you don't know, you don't know. Us as artists, I can admit it, us as artists, sometimes, sometimes I know the song where we like work, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I song them where, you know, two pain of mind really hit. So when you love a song and it really hit, it's a different thing. We love where the time because we're doing it out of just pure fun. So fun and talent mixed together, bro, you're going to get magic. True. You know what I mean? So I mean, never take away the time serious. When I start taking it, when the time soon us, when oh, Mr. Danny just threw him all in night, threw him everything in night. So Vice Mail and my group, I got bustle. Up. Bogle said, Me, I got bring you to the street, and I got bustle. Up. And yeah, man, bless to, bless to Mr. Gerald Levy, aka Waki Restwell. You know what I mean? So, where the time blow up? So you say, like, Emotional about it at the time. Very emotional. I love Christ. I made that ball about it. I couldn't believe it. I have a hit song. Yeah. But everybody might feel when you get hit song, you start making money. In a them time there, I don't know about now. In a them time there, you will have three, four hit songs and now make a dollar, bro. How oh, come? Elaborate because, all right, watch this now. Sometimes sometime the song we hit here, where you really like to make money is from the different, different shows. No. We never have a manager. O'Neill was as the business individual in the group and naturally loved doing business. O'Neill was the one who handled the business. Yeah, we make, we make a little change, but we never did a make no money. Well, we can't say, all right, we can't put on this towards a car or, you know, put this towards a house or none of I think, that. I think the promoters was paying as well, like one. We never did a make, we not even did a get shows. We did a get like, yeah, yo, I may I go do this so you know, we are go, you know. Oh, we never, yeah, we never really did a get no book book like that. You know what I mean? I remember now where the time of the, uh, our hit song and, Anyway, the big show them there, as I say, we're on Delhi apart. Delhi say, yo, where I go this? So, so we, we are go. Remember, we, we are bossing you know, us. So, 
So you have to out there? We have to out there. So Deli call up and we just run out and we sing the song with him and then where the time and the place bus. And I remember Killer said this to me. Never forget it. Youth. So when you have a hit song, you sing your hit song first. And then when you have the crowd, you sing anything where you want. Never forget that, bro. Straight. And it's a method that I use and I share. When me hear that, me I say, all right. So the next show we do, Pelpa, that we do. Run out with the way the time and the frenzy. We could have said, we could have said, bah, bah, black boo boo, and it work. Yeah. Next That's time we see killer, we say respect. Respect for that. So you see why I'm the general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, he have a hand in a pretty much all of the superstar them boat, yeah. Very much so. Boom, where the time? We hear a little talk, so we are one it one, and we take it personal. We take it very personal, so I'm going to go back into the studio. Go back to Danny. I want to see serious I'm a f- stigma that thing of the artist. Yeah, right? man. Me, 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 me did take it. Them time, they, me did take things a little bit more personal because I never really know the business at the time. Mm-hmm. So, my music, my, it it personal to me. So, if you have nothing to say about my music, yeah, man. If it rubbed me the wrong way, yeah. yeah. Man, you have Iron Balloon, the first one, right? Then you surpass that and find a hit. Then you must say, one hit, one hit wonder. wonder. So it's like, well, we can't please them people. Yeah. Some of say, one it wonder, <laughs> I'm you know, I'm All right, cool. Go back in the lab, see me. Perm, yeah, I said, Danny, yo, tell me what you think about this. Ladies, if you're ready to party, show your hands, let me know. Demo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> and if you're feeling naughty, just come and girl, get with the flow. That my half. Danny said, finish it. Mm-hmm. Finish it. <laughs> I'm a daddy, I'm a go. Instruction, I'm a go in the first time. I'm a go again in a. Everybody know. Part the crowd. 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 All right. Swing song. Swing song. Them time I know. Ding dong and cricket that would dance. I so saw anything we dance at them I run with. I dap me I run with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boom. Never finish it. I said, Danny, you know, say, how we on Delhi if we do this again? Boom. Call Delhi. All the way in the studio now, Deli has said, yo, I want in the chorus, yeah. Deli want to be a part of the chorus, because Deli has said, yo, this I got it. Yeah. <laughs> see, and Daniel has said, no, man, the chorus, good, man. Boom. All right, Deli convinced. Deli write him. Deli has said, all right. All right, it work. And I said, Danny, you could put Ding Dong in the intro, no? Yeah, man, I want Ding Dong in the intro, man. All right, boom. Ding dong in the intro. Bogle in the intro. Eh? Fashion over style. Them can't turn off nothing. Boom. Then it's a video. Boom. Hit. Hit again. Biggest Wait. joy for me? Not to be a one hit wonder. All right. <laughs> I say, we well, not going to say no. Two hit wonder. All right. Not the name, sir. Boom. Career name now. We are work. You know what I mean? You know, the great one drop out and shift we away. Cha cha. Shift we away because that's a Jano star. Bogley, you know, dog. Yeah, man, a bogey, bro. And if you know, so the whole away the road, the same night. And we have plans, bro. All we have to do. You know what I mean? And him have plans with all we have to do. So, yeah, in the drop out before the song release. No man, the song did release and everything, man. Everything I got good. We just had to talk about other things where we are going to okay, do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything I do good for go on good for Vice Mail and thing I go on good for, for Mr. Waki, man. Because Mr. Waki get different endorsement from different, different brands and everything nice. Boom. Start to do some work with Dan now. Been around Dan for a little bit and then. You know, build a, build a nice little family energy with Dan. And Dan never start vice with it. And then I remember when Jam 2 said, Yo, come link my man. And then I start, I start to do some work with Jam 2. Dan here, some of the work I do with Jam 2. And Dan ready for vice for now. Boom. We got vice for Dan. First song of vice for Dan hit. Just dance. 
and do as you feel like, feel like, eh, hey, hey, hey. Just to the jaga jaga and the bank come up, rock and we lean back. Do as you feel like. Bad. Feel good in a man, man. Say, yo, bro. Straight wonder. Don Carly wonder. <laughs> that song you're going hard now, you know. Yeah, true. Real talk. The song that it really. What? People Jan- are weird. And Janko knows was the rhythm, bro. Yeah, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. Dan. Dan. At, uh, who did that on the phone? Dan, Dan and Coolface called me. Mm-hmm. Them time, them time you know, when we start work with Dan now, me and Coolface are right. You know what I mean? Coolface was always my co-writer when they come out to the, especially when they come out to the big dance hits them. You know what I mean? Coolface was always there. Boom! Man, them say, yo, I have an idea, you know. I say, what that? say, yo, <coughs> Wacky Dip, you know. Do a song named Wacky Dip, you know. Tribute to Mr. Wacky, you know. And I say, yo, that bad. Which way do I do it, man? I say, see him, John Kunu, man. I say, no, man. I say, go kill what we are doing now, man. Dan take the phone from Cool Face and say, Craig, we are talking about. No, I go kill him, man. This I got just, I just more hits. Yeah, man. I'm going to say, all right, Dan. I say a word. Boom. We we'll go up there and record what you did. That was it. Not that right. was it. That was it. We, we, we life changed now. Because when cool face I said Osaka, I said, well, when him so? Osaka. <laughs> man, I said one place in a Japan man. Alright, cool. Osaka, bag of something and you know what I mean? And then we learned we learned say I think the I ding dang idea to do the whole what you did. Because Bogla is Willy Bunks and fling him coat and us dip. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Ding Dong, when me hear that, I say, What? Ding a feel at this, bro. Ding a feel at this. Always a bad physical, because you know, Ding say, What the music? You know, I say, Hey, all right, Ding, watch you go on now. This I go on. Ding was a part of it. Oh, Tom, mad, Mr. Wacky said, Feel a picture. You yeah, see me, I say? A ding Dong said that. With, really. Yeah, but. but with that, uh, that, uh, that uh, before we do the wacky dip. So me I say when the whole wacky dip thing come in, me I say look at that man. But I just the energy, cause me say Craig Dredd and Ding Dong was wise male dancers. You know what I mean? So the family energy. So of course, Ding Dong I say hey, I'm an artist. Them have to do this. So you know, any, any, when it come on to dancing, anything we touch is just magic. Even today, they, you know, it 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 might for this. Um, generation of artists might not um, know that, but uh, we are always a dancers, you know what I mean? Me, then, me, and I can't talk to nobody else, me personally. I love dancing in a way where I really can't, I can't, I can't even articulate it or more that I really want to express it. I love it. I like it, I like to see it, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I and I and I and what I what I found awesome when I did wedding time. I was just doing it as a singer. It's a cheeky time again, and that's a dance song, bro. Yeah. So for bring and melody words, in a dance, exactly. So whenever I do a that, whenever Vice Mill do a dance song, it will never be like no other dance song that you hear out there because a music it gonna be. You get me? Big vibes. Boom. Ding dong say, yeah, man. I went, wacky dip, man. Boom, wacky dip, blow up. Wacky. Everything we and done do after that are just magic, bro. Wise mate on superstars now. You know what I mean? And then wacky dip. John Kuno was the rhythm that take us to Japan for the first time. Yeah. Like 20, 2017, 20, 2018, 2017, 2018. I learned that voice mail is the reason why Japanese start to do da- to start dancing. So I said, Conrad, explain that. He must say, bro, when voice when Jankunu came up, bro, everything changed. He uh, just wanted to dance like Jamaicans. Yeah, cause Japan was more the sound system culture, though. And reggae. Yes, them love dance hard, but the dance inside them never really start dance dance like that. Yeah. So that was like an honor for me if you hear that. Because I remember when time we go to Japan and we come back and I said, Dan, Jankunu are the biggest thing in Japan. 
And Dan couldn't. Dan like Dan I said, really? No, bro. I said, yeah, bro. Until when Dan ended up to Japan, traveled to Japan for himself. It was, it was huge, bro. Huge. Up to this day. You going to Japan, when you go to Japan and you play junk, you know. Different energy. So, I have to show, I have to show respect to all of the, the producers, them who, you know, let's give it a chance there. You know what I mean? You know, from the Dan Carleons to the Shane Brown to the Christopher Birch to the Arif Cooper, Danny Champagne, and the list goes on and on. Stephen, Delhi, yo, so much. Because in a them time there, bro, if, I, if you don't know that person, there are that person, there are character that person there, you'll never get a song recorded. True, true indeed. You know what I mean? So big respect and, and, to, the, and to the DJs. From the sound to the, to the DJs, them on the radio, where love the sound that them hear and I say, yo, this is refreshing. Boom. Because one of the, one of the biggest motivators for voicemail for grow in terms of how we write our music was... Kali Nines. When, when we went to Kali Nines for, to premiere a song, well, we really wanted him to hear the song. And when Kali Nines said, this is rubbish. This is garbage. <laughs> and we never take it in a painful way, but take it in a way where we just want to please him. If we make, if, if the music that we create, if him like it, because at, at that time it was Colin Nines was the man. You have Jerry D and then Colin, it, it, yeah. it was that. And a fresh st stage. You know what I mean? You know, any, Colin Nines was the one. If Dave Kelly had a him Friday by Monday, big. Colin Nines was, Nine was the one who premiered the Dave Kelly stuff then. So we always say, yo, if him like our music, bro, we're on our way. And when we make him here, where the time, him said, this is it. This is it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Till... When Kali Nines became family, bro. Anybody in the music with us say, yo, when you look on them, remind you of voicemail that came up after one? Well, as in right now? Yeah, from, from uh, overall. Overall. Like, well, I say, yo, are we them watching you know, on, our, on our foundation? Well, well, put it this way. I, me would have said influence. Because you know, a lot of a lot of artists, we we are influ, influ, a lot of artists influence us. You know what I mean? The greats, them as you know, the the, the Beanies and the the Bunties and the Berries and the Sanchez and the Wayne Wonders and all of that. You know, but we also even now with from the from from the young from the young shooters, them we are the good at the music now. We still we still watch, we still listen. A lot of people might don't like the sound, but. Everything, everything, in everything there's evolution and the music has to evolve. I don't think the music now is dancehall. There's no name for it, so we just have work with dancehall. Yeah. The music has evolved past, past that, the name dancehall, but the, the, but the name dancehall is still um, gi a giant. Definitely. You get what I say? I'm a dancehall artist, full stop. So whatever, wherever the music evolved to, I dare something there. So if them are do um, trap, trap dancehall, um, Afro dance, whatever them want to call it, we're doing that because we're 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 super talented at what we do. You know what I mean? Music is not just for me. Music is not just a job. It's my lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because when I see, when I hear, when I feel, when I smell, when I whatever, I can create from it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to answer your question, um, at the time, uh, what I say with how we go with the old instruction route, RDX. RDX was one of the group that I said, yo, all right, vice mayor goddess, all right, we'll go for the girl then. It's the same formula. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as you can see, RDX became monsters as well. True. You know what I mean? You know, big up, big, big up, big up Delamar and, and Renegade, Renegade now. You know what I mean? Not Renegade, Renegade now. You know what I mean? Um, they have created something where a lot of people might never ever see coming. Just like our vice mail have created something where a lot of people might never ever see coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we give thanks for know that we can still be relevant, consistent and doing what we love and have loyal fans out there and still 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 um gaining new fans. You know what I mean? It is it's a good vibe. Because it's on Sunfest twenty twenty four. There you go. And it, it, it just goes to show you 
doing something that you love is one, you know. But being consistent is so much more important. Because a lot of us love a lot of things, but we're not consistently doing it. Yeah, you get me? Poor you say, all right, we don't do this whole Pelpa TV thing, you know. If, if you weren't consistent from, from years back to now, maybe you would be doing something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So consistency I wouldn't know where this would reach now. And you wouldn't know where this would reach now. So a, lot of people, a lot of people might not know vice mail, you know. That's just the grim reality, you know. But it's just for vice mail to, to, to introduce vice mail to them. You have to reintroduce we're, yourself. Like exactly. That. We're not only legends, you know what I mean? We're, we're superstars. You know, we've, we've done it, still doing it, and I have so much more to, to, you know, to do. I was just excited where we are right now, you know, I have to just big up Frankie music. Frankie, we and Frankie been chilling for a minute, and Frankie was one of them who believed in the, you know, the brand. You know what I mean? Not just the music, but the brand, how we stand for, how we look, how we present ourselves, how we articulate, how we deal with people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the man that say, we love people, bro. There are a lot of people out there, but you know, I mean, I like people. I love people, dog. Yeah. We will not be successful without people. You know what I mean? You alone couldn't do this. Yeah, you alone can maybe set up this whole thing, but you still are going to need somebody for it. Yeah, bro. And we, need, and we need subscribers. We do. So people have to like. We see exactly. Them, so you yeah, got to do this. We just look at your phone and say, yo, watch this. We yeah. me, me me, me interview Vice Mail them today. No. Oh, we right need this. people. So, yeah, for the world, for people to see. so we have created a family um, from, with Frankie Music from then till now. You know, Frankie, you know, is the whole management for Vice Mail. Anything where Vice Mail is concerned is Frankie Music, you know what I mean? So you're, oh, you're Harry Tuttle, your brother. Now. Yeah, right, like, big brother, man. So when you start busting a music and him see that, oh, the relationship is like, yo, brother. Well. Me and my brother relationship was always good enough. Yeah. You know, even if we don't talk every day, you know, the him, him know the him know my him know how me stay as as him little brother. You know, I'm very family oriented. I love my family. You know what I mean? I love my brothers and sisters. He's proud. And it feels good in an emotional sense where for me who was inspired by my big brother. I say, yo, if Patrick can't do this, you know, me must can't do, me can't do this too, bro. Yeah. I'm going to spend time on my craft, you know, perfect it to the point where I can, I can change souls. I can move souls and other people just gravitate to how I sound. That's a different feeling, bro. You know what I mean? And I feel proud, proud within myself to know that I have achieved that. You know what I mean? And there's so much more to do. Because, bro, I don't do half of what I want to do where music is concerned. True. Because everybody see Vice Mail, them see Craig, them see Kevin. But I know not, not a lot of people really sit down and listen with. Yeah. I hear what Rafa say. Yes, the dancing. You, 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 you know we are the dancing gods. Dance you know, but we do, we, do, we, do, we do music with substance. I'm not saying our dance, dance music isn't you know, substance. It is. Because man, I just get up and fling things together. You yeah. know what I mean? It is. But I am I am proud to say that my you know my, my family is proud of me. You know what I mean? Toddler proud of me, of course. Anytime we don't know him introduce, yo, my little brother feel good. You know what I mean? Career, most career go on a richer scale per se. Whether I say it go up, yeah, and you shoot and then it dip mm -hmm. and then it go back up. Yeah. How do you deal with the times then when you say, yo, I'm sure now come in? This cause, like you said, fuck through it. Mm -hmm. So you deal with those times. You know? I mean, because me, of years you do this. My perspective is different from a lot. You know what I mean? I treat my music like how I treat life. Life is up and down, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it is important to have down times. It's important for it to fluctuate. You are not going to learn what you need if you don't have the law. Yeah. Back to my mom's, you know, my mom's has in still so many great philosophies in me where I often share with friends or my fans or you know interviews like this and I remember one day she said to me listen whenever you have in your low times we, we our, our, our term for it is funk so whenever you're in your funk sit in it a little bit 
Yeah. Everything that you need to learn is there. You just have to relax and pay attention. And I said that to say this. You might say five people are on vice mail now. But when when you travel the world, you see a hundred. Yeah. All of us. If we don't document our show that a lot of people might not see it and we know that we're in a vis visual age you now. Which we have to come out of our humble shell, which we have. Ne media presence. Yeah, media which presence. we have came out of our humble shell and start doing more now. Better late than never. We are learning how to use the social platform, meaning the visual side of things. Because everything now is a camera. Everything. You have it yourself. Everything. Camera. You know what I mean? Front the, the camera. Proof is in the pudding. From, from, from cartel come out. Yeah. Visual. Visual. That's it. So, I, I deal with it like how I deal with life. I know that things are not always going to be okay, but that's fine. It's supposed to be that way yeah. for you to learn. So, for instance, you're the right yes or no. And you can't reach here so unless you, get, unless you stay here so. Pay attention to what needs to be done in order to go here so. So, in other words, the low time is to prepare you for the higher times. Yeah. So, when you're up, it's nice. When you come down, don't get frustrated. It's natural. We are humans. Don't get frustrated to the point where, yo, I'm done with this. No. If you do that, then you really never love it. And you, in other words, you just want to call it. I look, on, I look on failure in a positive way. Because if, if I don't fail, I won't succeed. I can't just, a, just a win, just a win, just a win. So I need to lose sometimes. You get me? Yeah, it's it's important to me. So I just have to speak from my perspective and how me deal with the uptime. Yeah, a lot of people might say, why is me not hot now? Not hot in what way? Oh, we're not hot in a Jamaica, like when I have a big mantra song. Yeah. We can tour anytime, anywhere. How many artists can say we have an audience that we can go to anytime? True. We can say that. In, in on a season. Any season, mm, any anytime. Season, any we show. can just get up and say, yo, we want to tour Peru. Or, yo, we are going to Colombia. We could get Colombia that week. Yeah. We, can, we can do that. Yeah. So it's relative what you call hot. A lot of artists might be in Jamaica and them feel like them music not doing anywhere because they are just here. But them just want to get a glimpse say yo. All a man say, yo, may I carry in for a party? And you go there. And you can't walk in peace. True. And that change your whole vibe. And I said, so how oh, many things they don't like my music or they don't like me? Real time, man. So it's always about perspective for me personally. So how I deal with the, the fluctuation, I embrace it. And it gives me time to slow down and create. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when everything running fast, you know, you not really get the time to really create how you want. Now, we have, we have attained all this knowledge over the years with the fluctuation. You know, we lost our brother. The group sound change. How things... How things was uh, how things get done change so everything changed so we have to we have to step back adjust and and come again yeah you have to look from from the outer <coughs> exactly yeah. so everything take time and everything is a process so if you if you learn if you learn and understand your objectives bro you'll be fine and voicemail over the years, that, what we, that is what we have attained. We have attained how, how to deal. Uh, that is the important thing, you know. A lot of artists in this before we, some, some survive it, some don't. A lot of artists come way after we and don't survive it. Yeah. You get me? And then, bro, we are, we are fun people. We do fun music. We don't just do it because we want to do it. We do it because our spirit and our aura is naturally fun. That is it. So we find things we still we still we still live and be be who we are. We still play my basketball, my cook, my bake. Oh yeah, we have a baking company. It's called Bake Your Piece. Yeah. Lots of people keep asking, "Oh, you still bake?" Yes, just Promotion. not post as much. Yeah, you know, and you know, more I start playing about my basketball now and everything. Yeah, but so we are the FIFA basket. God still. So you can't play basketball. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. I mean, the FIFA God still. So right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, video game. Video game. Okay. So we still we still live, bro. And, you know, me, me spend time with my kids, so them so and. So like when when the thing not really busy, you still have a life. Yeah, man. Of you know, course. Say, 
Yo, man, have fun seeing when life he, goes on. Yeah, are, man. And, 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 and like I said to you, though, Pelpa, not, not hot is relative because we yeah. might not hot in a Jamaica. I read the biggest thing when you go, just for talking sake, Japan, yeah. uh, Panama, Costa Rica, Colombia. I'm, I can well, name so many different places. Yeah. So we use the time well. Right now, we decided last year after we come off a tour, we said to Kevin, say, yo, nah, tour next year, you know, bro. This is what we're going to do. We and need you have to big for saying nah, tour. Like, yeah, man. Nah, to, for a year. <clears throat> and it was, and how we usually do it to normally plan the tour the year before. So like we we'll come out for the tour last year, August, yeah. we said, all right, we have to prepare for next year. Yeah. That's how we usually do it. But we had some objective that we need to start it. So we said, 2024, Vice Mill is going to make some noise in Jamaica. All right. We don't know how we are going to do it, but we are going to pass some face. These are things that we're talking about in August last year. Yeah. So we don't know how we are going to do it, but we are going to go back. We are, we are, we are make some face. So, groundwork. You know what I mean? Okay, how small it is. Because, like I said to you, Pelpa, you have to step back and say, all right, how are we going to do this? Things now do like, oh, because when we bust, it wasn't any social media. True. You know when what I mean? Oh, four? Yeah. Yeah, because you know, 20 years. <clears throat> it, 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 it was, it's it easier now, in my opinion. Yeah. Easier now, meaning to, to get yourself out there yeah, from that perspective. Popular. Yeah. You right. can. Once you have a camera with a phone in front of you, like yeah. I say, it's yeah. a little easier. But not saying it's not hard for the people that we are trying to and still not reach there or whatever. But like I say, consistency is a very important ingredient. So, like, just to answer the question when you talk about the fluctuation and how we cope and we create. So, when we decide, so this year we're going to just work, 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 work. That's what we're doing. So, we're, what, all the work that we're doing this year is for 2025. Okay. So we are going to make nice now, you know, see we hear, oh, yeah, voice mail. Yo, where them there? Them still do music? Yeah, yeah we still do music. Yeah. However, no one terms it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we do short-term plan, mid-term plan, and we do long-term. You okay. know what I mean? So Well-structured. Yeah, man. So we are do the work, you know. We are going to see we here and there, pop up here and there. We are going to make some nice for the last quarter, 2024, for sure. So look out for that. Um, but 2025, the B's here. You know what I mean? Because that is the year that a lot of things are going to be very challenging for the world. You know what I mean? So organizing yourself because it's not going to be easy. So for the last quarter, Vice Mail, Team Frankie Music, yeah, man, we're at Chappie Road, man, differently. Do you have a, a, a time frame where you say you are done? Music? Yeah. Um, when we not use the avatar anymore, yeah. that's when. You okay, know? Cool. Until then, at this medaya for bro, I have I have discovered that this is my purpose. My purpose is to just make people feel good through music, bro. You know what I mean? And I think I think what what I was blessed to do is a powerful gift. Because if I can if I can tell you to move to the left, move to the right, that's powerful. Yeah. You get me? So the whole crowd that comes And if me have the whole crowd that say, Simon. everybody give me this. You know what I mean? So me being a a creator of music, I don't just look at it and say, yeah, mommy, I want an artist. No, mm -hmm. I am more than that, bro. You know what I mean? I am, a, I, am a, I am a soul provider and I am a soul creator. So whatever I do, you're going to like it or you're not going to like it. So it affects you somewhere or the other. So that is my power. My, my magic is music. You know, sometimes it'll go out, people want to take a picture. Or even when you see her some fest and you fall in the media house and be a camera come round, you know you think to yourself, oh, them semi not. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but as I said, me not, me not, me, I don't pay that narrative any mind because, like I said, that saying is relative. Yeah. Hot where? Yeah. Hot how? Yeah, but you know you know what I mean? say most like, what's that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, more time, more time, because as, as a superstar, as an artist, you have yeah. to have ego, bro. No care what, no care what nobody wants to say. Yes, sir. Don't get rid of your ego is important. True. Ego is ego is there to put people in check. Yo, you know who you are talk to? It's important. It's just that some people abuse them ego. You know what I mean? Where them feel like they can treat people any or any of them want. No. You just have to remind them, say, bro, 
I know some little rare, rare. No, but that don't mean that I'm more than you, you know. I am not. Me just I make you know, say, bro, this way I do, I work hard for it. Yeah. So I just I make you know, say, don't feel like you can't come talk to me or walk over me any anyway, as humble as I am. Sure. You still have to show respect, my bro. But, yeah, it still feel good for say, and them say we're not at. All right, cool. Cool, no man. <laughs> what you say? You have a button artist where hot per se overseas and you take the show? Oh God, so many times, so many times. I, I can give you an incident. I remember it was oh, it was Vice Mail, Vice Mail Neo, and some 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 other some the other set of art. Yeah, man. Yeah. And when we came up and when we done with the show, Neil come to me and said, oh, you guys have all that energy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it reached the point where Neil wonder how him, go, how him really like a pull off his set. Yeah, because you performed before. Because with that energy, bro. Yeah, he might sing nice R&B stuff. Then. It wasn't the same. So the, the crowd was just quiet. Yeah, they sing along here and there, but the energy. And him come off and him say to me again, man, yeah, I took all the energy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just one of many. Yeah. People that, have a seat. That is know? just one of many. I remember, I remember in Japan, I don't remember who was the biggest artist at the time, the biggest Japanese artist at the time. And our, the company that was signed to was Pony Cannon. So Vice Mail was pretty much an experiment for them. And it was successful. So I remember them I say, all right, that guy is the biggest artist in Japan and reality. I said, yeah, man, big him up. Dance all this. Be that way. I said, yeah, we say, yeah, him do, him do. A dance all we do. A we say energy. That was it. And that, that was that show. We learned how to sing the chorus away the time in a Japanese. I got Tanishimo say, ay, Tanishimo say, ay, that show, total different respect for Vice Mail after that. I see him songs at Raging Bull, right? That at, uh, uh, where the time? Raging Bull. Yeah, where did it not? With yeah. Jiggy time again. Is it Raging, Raging Bull? That uh, yeah, um, was the maddest part of the song, that, uh, waking up party, you know. That, uh, go on. No, our one was our one was um um uh go dancing fever. Yeah. Always a raging, always a raging bull. But that raging, raging bull that was over Mars. Them that oh, wasn't oh, the vice very one. Them I said take care, take care yourself. Oh yeah, true. But true. but but you, but you just say raging bull. Yeah, man, for sure. Cause mm -hmm. we, we have a, we have a song named um um raging bull. Yeah, you know what? Raging bull. Something. But. Uh, like me said to you, a couple show well where, you know, them just advised me as this and that. Yeah. Another show, I remember Mr. C book with a, a show in Manhattan. It was Vice Mail, Beanie, and Sham. But for whatever reason, we was a special guest. At that time, Wacky Deep was the biggest song. Yeah. Biggest, biggest song in New York. So Mr. C never put it on the flyer. And. When we when we when we run out, the man, Jesus, the club is like the roof ready for fall off, man. That was it. That was it. So, we have places where we go and, you know, them underestimate me. Hundred. Change the whole night. You get me? But that are the that are the that are the that are part of the craft. But that is the joy too. Yes, man. That is the joy. Yeah, man. I like when I hear I can't do something still like. Yo, you can't find a hit, man. Yeah? All right, cool. Mm -hmm. All they do is motivate me. You know what I mean? Call me the Jordan, the Michael Jordan of this, man. Don't tell me something can't do something, man, because you only motivate me for sure. You say it can be done. You know? And like I said, my love for music is beyond L-O-V-E. It's a different love. And if, if, if you don't have that love for it, you're not going to survive it, man, because this music is not... It's not a walk in the park. True. You know what I mean? You have, to, you, have to, you, have to, you have to develop a different skin for it. You know what I mean? And a different mental for it. Because if you don't if you, if you have that, you're going to lose yourself, bro. Believe me. What, what advice do you have to, the, to, to the, this generation where staying humble is concerned or to, to, to make it 
to 20 years. Bro, just have fun, man. Don't take it too serious. Once it's money before the music, then you're in trouble. Make it be music before the money. So it's music, money. Because once the music goes, you know, the money is a must, you know. Yeah. So you cannot like, get the money and then the music is garbage, bro. True. So make sure the music is good. So the money with their own there, even push you further. At the, like mo- the money I got pile up and just I push you. Yeah. That's a one. Two, it's 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 okay to 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 show up, show, show off your ego sometimes. It's important. It's very, very important. If you if you don't show ego, you're not a star in my opinion. You know what I mean? I may have said that from experience. Over the years, me just humble. Me have to get pushed to a point where me have to make them know say, yo, what not do? I want to know. No found no bad like me. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. I may have all the credentials for say that. But if I'm not pushed to that point, I don't need to say that. So I would have said, just, you know, just balance your ego and stop this foolishness, boy. You know, like, you know, like people. Because if people don't gravitate or listen to you or come on your show, you're not going to be a star. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? It's, it's nice when you can get up and sing all day in your, in your community and that's it. But it start there. But for reach where you need to reach, you need to come out of there. So, in my, so, so me would have said, Balance your ego, um, build relationship. It is the most important thing in a life. Period. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not about being hot. No, it's about when you're. What you call it? When you're on the low. Yeah. The relationship you build when you're on the high. True indeed. So build the relationship on the high. Don't wait till you're on the low and up. You know what I mean? So balance. So have fun. Music before the money. And balance your ego. I said. You feel like um, <coughs> artists that do happy songs are underrated, like when it comes to like award winning and them things, they like, don't have a category per se, per se, oh, the best. Well, well I mean, they, 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 they have it now. I mean, really, they, they don't really have much award show. I really see some award show coming in play now. I see what they are with Caribbean. Yeah, that's, that's that. I see them, I see that, I see that a little bit more, which is good. They don't really have much award shows, you know what I mean? So um for the for the ones them that there is I think there is there maybe be a maybe a category there no. Before there wasn't. What's the category called if you, uh, you can't think of I, it? I guess the best dance song. I guess the best dance song best for the year or something like that. Yeah. You know, but it's not much. At one point we used to say it's one thing I one thing I can one thing I can tell you. When Jamaica is being led by happy music, the country happier. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Sure. The country happier. You know? When there's when there's voicemail, there's ding dong, there's lolly, you know the people them who do fun music, the elephants and the list continue with the ones them who do the fun music. Country happy bro. More carpet shows get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know true. what I mean? More shows get done. You know, and when I'm happy for more shows I put together outside of the old carpet shows. You know what I mean? Because dance all need that. Yeah. The sad thing about it is we don't build shows. <laughs> we don't every man feel it's just it's just it's just the the, the the hype, the stigma. You know what I mean? A man rather kill a show and try to build it. A man a man rather know say a man come and try something on it and I say, yo, this is a brilliant idea. How we can develop this yeah, and I said yo the show sense. flop yeah true you know what I mean so I ho- hopefully, hopefully the music the music will help with that you know but I see more shows coming back around which is extremely awesome for me as an artist so I know you're versatile you think you could have got in at a, a clash I love watch it, but I don't really my thing yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. And I don't But if I do it, yeah, of course. Bust your face. Yeah, yeah. Bust your face. <laughs> we can do it, yes. But I don't my fan base. And my fans, the people that want to listen to my music would not want to see that for sure. They say, what? <laughs> Fight me. Go and go dance. I want to allow this. How you know about this? You know what I mean? What you know about badness? What you know about badness? Even where they are the badness, what you know about badness? Yo, my badness and music, bro. That's it. Music and ensuring that um, family and friends them good. That are my badness. Not my. I have no other badness. Yes, me defend my own for sure. Have but you got any plaques in our music? Plaques. Plaques. Yeah. Oh God, Wally. Ah, uh, 
from where I get where I get plaques from 2005 till now. Yeah. You know, I mean, Pelpa can maybe start one, one thing where. You remember that thing there where them used to have named Cribs? You don't have to be Cribs still. Yeah, I know. You know, it can't be Pelpa Par. Pel -pa -par. par. It, we have one. All Pel right. You see that? Par. So and you pull up, and, up and pull up and you say, yo, Pelpa, that room, you're all right. You see all right, so you see this? Yeah, them type of vibe. There. Yeah. You know what I mean? Them things that work, I don't know about nobody else, you know, so bro. We can but we can come get, we want to see your plaques there, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We can't, we can't, we can't organize that. Yeah. Give me some time, because I just, I just, I just move into the new spot, so. Yeah. But whenever that whenever that whenever the time when we settle and when I say, yo, Pelpa me settle now, you know, what you say? So name some of them. Like Um you well, group of the year, um um fashionable artists of the year, we get that three year in a row. Um best collaboration, um number ones, um best dance group, best dance song, um best dance video, best choreography. Uh, that I just That's what we can't remember now. Yeah, that I just what we can't remember yeah. now. Yeah, I'll be modest. You know what I mean? You know, um, to show off too much on them. Yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. I might forget that like that like that like same eager thing that we are talking about. Yeah. You know, but Frankie been saying it for, um, for a little bit now. Um, we just have to be a little bit more visual with what we do. You know what I mean? This generation might not know what Vice Mail have done. You know, if you not tell a story, somebody else has got to tell it. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? Right. So the questions are being asked now. Exactly. Yeah, so we are going to show, we're not going to just yeah. talk. I'm going to show them, you know, because a whole heap of people now, they only know 1% of advice mail and not even 50. Yeah, because right now the, it's a relationship your fans want. Yes, that's it. I mean, love that. One of, that's one of the things, the new thing I love. Them not just yeah we know you can do the music all right we want to know you who are you who, who is you you yeah, know what I mean what who me they are listen to you know what I mean personality that is the reason they why they want to know who you're there with that is the reason why you see <laughs> that like a you see that like a energy that we popcorn I show him the they are the river yeah yeah him and him friend them up so, I'm all a vibe with him mother and parents that is that is that all right because that is social media he's using his social media. Oh, it's supposed to be used. I agree. Enough artists just a post when them song release. I agree. Uh, and we we can at that department where we where we're working and doing up help. Yeah. And we're being a little bit more social and the social media. For yeah. the people for fans them know because we have new listeners. Yeah. We always we know that original fans them is there, but we have new listeners. Remember. What are we showing or introducing to the new listeners? Remember them name? Influencers, you know. You have people who get famous without no song at all. There you go. Just social media. But the places and them are the TikTok of that, you know? Yeah. You know the TikTok of that, I mean, I say, ooh, well. <laughs> the TikTok of, I mean, I say, we sang them sing. And then they sing the song. That's a TikTok. So what do? A TikTok of. I yeah, man. that is a category right now. And me, me, personally, <laughs> me personally love that still. Because yeah, no, a lot of. No, no, no wrong with it. I mean, I show you what, 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 the, the, the advance of where things are right reach. now. Reach. Yeah, I tell man. somebody upon a, um, a boat ride and them say, a TikTokers. So, I mean, they, I mean, they really know them. Yeah. You understand? But it's like me, I look and I say, everybody is a celebrity in themselves. That's all. And them have followers. And them, you understand? Yeah, man. I them mean, have an audience, them man. Them have an audience for themselves. So each person have an audience and them are somebody. You know what I mean? I mean, I say, look at that. You know what I mean? Me, a video, me, a video. <laughs> they can be a video, man. Mm -hmm. You see me? They are more star than me. That's all. I say, oh, yeah, the video, man, the light. You see me? Okay, yeah. Say, watch Catch out. a shot, yeah. I mean, I say, yeah, man. Let's but it's, like I said, the, the evolution thing, evolution of things is important. Yeah, man. So, if we work on that. Yeah, we're definitely thing. working on that. I like me say, Frankie, Frankie, You've been an constantly talking yeah. us, talking to us about that. I, you know, we've been doing a little better. Kevin have this program. We talk about it, the, the, the madness on the road. Yeah. I'm all in time. You know what I mean? That's doing pretty well. Yeah. Talk you know, about taxi man and. Misa. Me are the more, 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 more share my spiritual side where give you give some quotes or some yeah. daily um, some daily bread as they would they would call it, you know. But every now and then we would just the yeah. online or me a dance or me a sing something or give me a viral quote right now. Some slow music I play in my background. Viral quote? Right now where you create. Um I'm can share one of my favorites still. Um them, we growing up here, some man has taken you through the world, but it's really the next way around. 
So man has taken through the day, relationship take you through the world. True. A man can a man can have a man can have something there. Respect you and still disrespect you. Right? But if you are so respectable, me can come to you and say, yo, Pelpa, you know someone want to do a podcast and you can say, here uh, Link Jeffrey. He will set up everything. The relationship where you have with Jeffrey. I may have to go to Jeffrey and say, yo, Jeffrey, Pelpa send me say. Pelpa send me to you. I say, all right, cool. Yeah. No, me can be the worst person in the world. But I don't feel business that. Yeah. The relationship where you build with Jeffrey. No, me have that relationship. No, Jeffrey I, I, is his responsibility for if he wanna get for know me the person now. And me can say him I build a relationship with Jeffrey just in case more I use Jeffrey in the, in, in, in the future. Case and in point. Most of the people them were when we start the music in the media house, they wanted to be this and wanted to be that. Now we are friends with editors who have huge position in won't say in different different eras. True. But travel the world and I realize say, it's really a relationship around the world. It's not you can't have manners, bro. I tell people good evening hundred times and them not have to tell you about my bro. But make you have a relationship and me and you walk past and me say good evening. The mere fact that you are there, everybody has a good evening. Because of the relationship and respect that is with. So my experience that saying, not understanding it, not, not I never understood it then. All I me get and me, me get for travel and have my own experience. I say, oh, this is what Mamsi mean. So we are in this business for the group farm 1999, but our first hit song is um, 2004. So if you want to say we start the music 25 years, but we hit in the music 20 years ago. You can say that, and the relationship that we have created from then till now, if we don't need to do a song for today or tomorrow, we're good. Yeah. If we want to put on something. 20 years worth of work. Yeah. Exactly. 20 years worth of building relationship. True. So, man has taken you through the day, relationship take you through the world. That's my quote for the day. That is it. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to teach, you know, because you can have 20 years worth of experience. And, yeah, man, we have and a only for share, for man. Share with it. Younger generation. Um, I always, I always look on it. My perspective is when you lose people who have knowledge, you lose a library. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. that's a library of knowledge. You get what I mean? I say that's yeah. why I, mean, I got always show respect to the ones them who, you know, help. You not care how small the help is. Have a hand in a, we successful in our music. So that's why I got always hear me big up the ones them. You know what I mean? From from Frankie Music, all right, Black, Mikey Bennett, who play a major role, you know what I mean? Whether it's just sit us down and keep it. Because one thing we can tell you this with Frankie, Frankie, I'm going to tell you it as it is in a bro, whether you want to hear it, yes or no. True. Even though I say, all right, my rape, my friends, and my family, this is what I say. Craig, you need to stop doing that. Or mm -hmm. you, need to, you need to change how you do that. And it's for you as an individual to sit I say, all right, really? I really do this and all right, we need to fix that. I take a mature person, a mature exactly. individual to put and in. So growth, growth, grow up, growth play a very mm -hmm. big role in you know, how you um, pursue your career as well. Because you can't just, just say, do I know I listen. You have to listen, bro. Oh, me, I'm going to tell you something. I have, have 20 years of experience, bro. If I tell you something, I will know. And I guess, I guess it. I've experienced it more than 10 times. So I know what I tell you. Some I always, always reason like that. Say. When I share it, it's from experience and nobody tell me. You know, so big up Frankie and the whole family. All right, speaking of experiences <coughs> now, um, Kevin, he talks, he was on the phone with O'Neill while the incident was happening. Mm -hmm. Like, can you elaborate on that night and how, what he was going through um, being on the phone at that time? Two, where were we now? 2024, two years ago, I did a project called Listen to Me, Big Up A Style. A um, couple of years before that, me and Kevin and the whole team sit down and say, we need to, we need to evolve the brands. Brands meaning voicemail, Kevin and Craig. How are we going to do that? All right, we're going to do some individual projects. Voicemail is the mother brand. Just treat it like the body. We're going to the gym. We can strengthen different muscles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Vice meal is the is the is, is the body. 
me and Kevin is the limbs and our music and you know what I mean? So we are strength in the grand brand name. So you have Kevin V and you have Craig with a Q. I did a project. First project I did was with Frankie called Me, which the acronym for My Evolution. It's a reggae project. EP it was extremely awesome. Gained some some different type of fans and I learned a lot more about myself and how my writing and my audience. Second project I did was a few years ago with A Style. It's called Listen to Me. What I've discovered with doing that project, I was damaged, meaning broken. You know, more more time people always people see me and them know me as a jewel and fun individual. Let me see the smile. You know what I mean? But them don't know some I suffer from depression and all of them something there. No. I learned that music was my therapy and music was going to be the, the, the medicine for heal me. I'm not a hundred yet, but I'm way better than women did they? Yeah. Um, 20 odd years ago. I feel the prescription. So. Yes. So I realized that at a target, as I, I, I go back, I realized that my, my, my broken start from when I lose my brother, Chris, in 1992. Chris was... Chris, me and Chris did close, you know, me lose Chris. And me realize, say, me did still, me did still broken from that, me never heal. Because what a lot of people don't know, as men, which me talk on a lot of seminars when we get invited to, as men, we tend to, we tend to hide stuff or tuck it away or put it, what I say, all right, yeah, I'll put that over there, son. Yeah, they must say, yo, you have to be a man. But really and truly, my opinion, my, my perspective and opinion on that is real men cry, bro. Yeah. Full stop. Society would, would have you believe that, yo, man, not to cry. That's rubbish, bro. Yeah. From, a, from a spiritual standpoint, no. Do you know that the best release is crying? If you can't, you have some people who get so upset and them can't do nothing. If them not cry, them find something for thump up. There's too much built up energy, I have to release it. So as men, we tend to hide it, suppress it, which is the biggest mistake. Now, your body is a sponge, you know. Every part of your body has memories, not just your brain. So everything, just like if, if you learn how to punch, and your brain alone store that memory, you know, your hands then, your coordination, your stance, everything recorded it is not just your brain. Your body is a memory. Your body has memory. <clears throat> you hear them have a thing where them say muscle memory? Yeah. Your body have memory. Moving forward, losing O'Neill, my, my, my damage got worse and I never know. When I lose O'Neill, I have spells. I just wake up and just a ball. Can't stop, just a ball. Ball and I shake. On my way for cool down was to go in the shower, sit down and turn on the cold water. I'm gonna go through that for a couple of years. I lose O'Neill 14 years now. And at two years now, two years now, I start really heal from that. Cause over the years, I think I did alright, but I never alright. So I always couldn't talk about the question where you asked me, but I reach a space a couple of years now where I can you know what I mean? We can testify. That's how we look at it. The crazy thing about it is O'Neill wasn't supposed to go home that night. O'Neill just have him just have him daughter. <coughs> and his 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 routine was bag a road. O'Neill was the road man, you know. People know vice me from O'Neill. Just look for the ear. Uh, him was the road rat. It wasn't me and Kevin. Uh, him pulled with. So O'Neill used to say, Alright, road, you know. But I got to spend some time with Neil and then we meet up. So boom. So that was the rotation. He never, never, ever go home. Once him go, him daughter, we we'll leave from there and go road. So that Sunday, he decides I'm going to go home. So I'm going to relax a little bit. So I said, I go home for you. And I said, I'll link up with Sundays. I said, yeah, man, but I go home and go chill a little bit. All right, cool. Link when you're ready. I'm going to try. I said, all right, me pick you up. I'm supposed to pick me up one o'clock, I think. 
at uh, 1.30, so 1 o'clock, I think at 1 o'clock. So anyway, Kevin and my friend them did already, Beans and all of them did it. I mean, the woman watch some TV. So the movie done, and I said, I'm going to hear from Oni. So I took up the phone and called him. And I said, bro, you know how you may just a call? That him said to me. I said, where are you there? He said, I fall to you now. And then after that, me hear, hey, boy. And then him ball out, crack, 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 crack. I'm going to hear, bang. The phone just got dead. Within that space, me, me, don't know, me never know if you think. I me know. And I can tell you, there's only two things I remember after that happened. Um, call Kevin, I call the police. So I call the police first. For whatever reason, the police answer. Them answer, and them said to me, say, all right, then I met them way there now. Then I call Kevin, I say, yo, where you there? I say, yo, I say, yo, fart for me. Because I tell them I never want to drive. I was not want to drive now. So fart for me. Bean was driving at the time. I think Bean did not drive this white car. And I said, yo, fart for me. No, it's so like them a rob O'Neill. Like that, I tell him. I'm not even go to serious part. Less than five. Because I used to live at Westminster and Wet Sundays around the road. Yeah. Around a Hillview, that's all. Boom, them reach. I shot go down the boulevard. I reach a four-way stop right out there. So I see a two jeep of police. And I say, yo, yeah, them. I say, yeah, them get the call. Then you say, him get shot. Because <coughs> as I tell you, the phone cut off after me, and bang. After me, and my ball out, crack, 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 crack. I'm here, bang, the phone cut. Rush go down at Bellock, reach at Bellock. I see them put him in at the Jeep and shut off. So we just a pull up. So me did not go drive. So me jump out of the car, and me and Kevin jump out of the car, and police, I said, one away have to stay, and one away have to go. Because me, I go drive off. I said, Kevin, stay. I'm a shot go down there. I reach a public now. I rush going into the room and I just ball out, fight you, fight, fight. And the doctor them said, I can't stay in there. <coughs> I'm outside. I don't know myself. I numb. I don't feel my fingers. I don't feel my head. I just numb. All of my head is my right, my right, my right, my right. I'm just going to lean up on the post. I'm dead for the night. Move forward. Um, we did every day. You know, we try to get update on OMIs and Mr. Shaka and Mr. Shaka. No bullshit, bro. OMIs. And then Shaka said, Boy, Craig, I look good. So that's all I want. Yeah, right, respect. No, i save me and I go through the motion. We did have some work for doing. You know, can't get it done because of that. Anyway, we keep on I get news now, say, all right, I'm in, I'm in a better space now, and I'm out of danger, which was just to really keep, keep her yeah. mind settled, which yeah, yeah. really wasn't out of danger. And I said, all right, I got, I got to see if we can do some work then. So we did have this song, we did, we did Mr. Vega set up this, this, this prayer, and him, you know, he put me on it, so me did, me, I was a part of that project, so I was doing that video. <coughs> so that day, they him say, all right, boom, I'm going to do the shoot. You must hear Vegas shout out. <laughs> From here, let me know exactly what it was. So I just walk off, I just start, I just start walk off of the set, and then him say, say him read out where the headline says, so O'Neill pass. Sure and then I rush go down to the hospital, and... You know, mother was there and my brother was there and yeah, it was it was one of those it was one of those it was one of those days where even though me talk about it, it just feel numb. Because in my head me I say, yo, and I like we're out there getting no trouble. And we, and what happened? And what go on? So we start ask all sorts of questions. Let me just let me ask questions to myself. So there is a thing with me, like when I lose people, when I care about, I go in at this. Um, what a thing they, what, them, what, what a word of them call that? No naive, that, that's uh, denial. I go, go in denial for a, for a while, and it, it, there's no set time when I come out. So in my head, I say, no man, only a good man. Still in a denial, I say, no man, only in a part, only a good man. I never go look for him either. So I never go look for him. So I still remember him. How him look? 
I don't know. So me, me never go, when I do the whole casket thing and when they say pass, no, I never go look for them. I just say mother go. So I still have a picture of him, how I see it. Life and well. Life and well. You True. know what I mean? So it, it changed up a lot of things for me mentally. You know what I mean? It, it, me, 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 me start suppress even more now. So I get worse. You know what I mean? So me just I said this on a wider scale. A lot of people say artists and feel like say everything good. Real talk. We're not alright, bro. We're not alright. Them not gonna come tell you no, but we're not alright. When we say we're not alright, meaning everything not great, my G. But we ensure that everything great because at the same time we still have to survive. Now me can honestly tell you say me in a brilliant place place right now. I know me more. I know how to handle my demons. You know what I mean? Yeah. I you have to come face to face with the demons and I reason with them bro. And the only way I got heal if you don't reason with your demons then them are gonna, them are gonna control you. A fuck say I talk to Yeah man, you have to reason with them. So my reason twin COVID 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 was the best thing for me because that's when I acknowledged that bro you are broken. You're damaged. So I wrote a song about it, you know what I mean, called Damage. I'm damaged. And then when time I released that song, everybody I said, youth, never know you got through all of this because music was my therapy. I sing and I dance and laugh. It's worse so happy music, you know. Yeah, man. So, so I'm not going to pick up. It's no nah, way because you have to put on a smile, the type of music. It's not like you go up on the stage and say, lock off the light. Yeah, man. Isn't it? It's the type of artist where I say, Turn on the light. You know, there you go. And shine and the light the in the energy. crowd. And so, energy. So, so losing O'Neill was a big, big dump, big dump in my in my life personally because, bro, that's my brother, yo. Like, we talk about everything. We you start see? something together. We, yeah, and every idea we talk about, we execute it, we had plans. You see me? So that's why me and Kevin always I say, yo, bro, remember, I say we have plans, you know. Anytime we are slack up, me I say, bro, remember we have plans, you know. And it's <coughs> when he hear me say that, he know what me I talk about. So he will understand if me not wait for him to do certain things and we just get it done because we have plans, bro. Yeah. You get me? There is. And have to be executed, though. It have to be. And the mere fact that we're still relevant today, today, day, is a big vibe, my G. Big vibe. You know what I mean? So. I just, just know some of my brother's spirit there around me, you know. They always say, he had him in a better place. I do believe that, wherever that is. But the energy around me, and where I do what we do. You see what I say? The tribute goes out always, huh? Yeah, man, all the, all the way. As long as we do music, man. That are the tribute. Yeah, man, that are the tribute. I always mention him name. Yes, man. Them thing that, them thing that keep, him, keep you going to. More time, we just sit on me and say, Jano, on his star, yo. Yeah. You think go on today in the dark? And we just reason like him there on you. Because if people don't understand when you when you don't when you lose people, you don't you don't get over it. Never. You just learn how to cool. You know what I mean? I think with the bugle album launch the other night. Solid album I might add. And him, him I mean at the same thing, but him just phrase it say, time teach you how to. Um Cope. Live with it and cope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Me always say, yo, you just learn how to live with it. That's how, that's how me always say. You never really get over losing people you genuinely care about. You just learn how to live with it. And just know, say, yo, it is what it is. A part of life. Some come, some earlier than some. And one thing we're sure about, you know, you know is, the, is the passing of us all. That is for sure. So, let's leave your G. Right now, vice mail. We have so much work and we have so much things to share. So we are gonna share that. You get what I say? So Yeah. Stay tuned and listen, man. You will see where I go. Oh, I wanna know about some of the projects then where you have All right, well, a solo project. Right, right now I work on well the voice me stuff from where we are work on right now, I have I drop a skunk tape. It call we call it skunk tape because I dance songs. Yeah. Uh, we did one in twenty seventeen and it was successful. Um 
the fans been asking over the Latin market, say, yo, we're not get a volume to, to this project. This project was solid. Are we getting on a... I've decided a couple of weeks back, say, you know what, I mean, I got to do that. So, we just pick some, some rhythms that I like, some, some Afro, some Amo, some dancehall, and put it together. And we just finish all the recording. So, we have just a balance up and a, you know, put the last trimmings together. So, we have that. Um, Frankie Music have a whole bunch of projects out um, with, with Kevin, with me, and as the group. You know what I mean? You have Peer Grade, you know, Kevin have Bed Spring, you know. You have um, Bashman 24, you know, we have this song called Happy Place, one of Frankie Music's favorite songs that yeah. we're we shooting the video for now, you know what I mean? We have some, we have some music coming, we have music with we and Dan Carly on, you know what I mean? Featuring Ding Dong, we have so much solid project coming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, singles from me. You have a thing out when we just do, is that's my tribute to Cartel, I call it Dandia Road. Yeah. And yeah, funny enough, I've never done something like that to do something in terms of like current affair. Where this I go on and say, yo, come on, the buck him toe down the road, and I write a song and sing about the man who buck him toe down the road. I've oh, yeah. never done something like so that. So you said what song? Dandia Road? Dandia Road. You know see the Dandia Road now, world boss there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I get a nice little energy from that. And as I say, it's just a mild people, people here and people where I say, boy, I never know you could have gone, you're so dark, this bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as I say, me, this is a mild little tribute to, to the teacher. You know what I mean? My opinion, I'm, I'm not just an artist, I'm a fan as well. I am a songwriter I'm an, I'm, and I am a melody artist. And I can tell you, say, Cartel, write some of the baddest songs as we know, and I have some of the baddest melody. There's a reason why Fever is one of the baddest songs, you know, bro. Yeah, real talk. Because <clears throat> some of them things that were cartel sing, I doubt him know that, know where him sing, you know. When you go, Fever, why you put... You see me, I said? Why you put... Why you put... Why you put... Melodies, tone, yeah, man, and the different cadence where him choose and all of this for from a... As an artist, Impressed, big big fan, and as a and as, as a, a singer, and as a singer, I, big fan, and outside as a as a regular listener, big fan. So, in year say him release, and I think he release on the thirty first, yeah, or the first, no, he release on the thirty first, at the thirty first he release, thirty first of, of July I think. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write the song on the first. You know what I mean? And it was just a vibe. We just did that whole vibe. You know, city down there, road now. Well, boss, there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah. that's one, that one of the me single them out right now. You know what I mean? Big up, big up um, chemists and pops because, you know, for them production, nice little vibes. And as, as you know, I have a whole bunch of stuff with Frankie Music right now. So, me excited and Vice Mail have a whole bunch of projects coming out. Just, Bro, I'm just excited when I just can't wait to share it with the world because, like I said, 2024 was the year where we work, put in the work, Yard work. release some music, you know? Jamaica. We're also on the Fiesta rhythm, which is doing extremely well right now. Yeah. L.O.I. Fun music. Feel good As music. As usual, man. You see me, I say? So, we just want the fans them know. We all heap of great things in store, you know what I mean? Thanks to the love and support over the years and, you know, all of the... The, the, the new audience, when I really know a voice mail and know what we do, we introduce some new things to you and remind you about some of the greatness that we do so far in our music. You see me, I say? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, you said the 31st of December, you're going to be a fan? You're in this yeah, stadium. man. I'm definitely going to be a fan, man, for sure. I mean, is that, is that, is that, is that, why? It's going to be, it's going to be a historical day still, in my opinion, yeah. because. The anticipation is really high, you know what I mean. And as a fan, and as an artist, you know you're, you're, you really want you really want to see that energy, yeah? and you really want to be a part of that history. Yeah? So, should be a good energy still, you know what I mean. Like I said, the anticipation is insane. Definitely, so. the anticipation alone. Yeah, man. So we all like man. say it around the corner. <laughs> Every day you get up here and say, yo, tomorrow, yeah. you know? Yeah, man, like around <laughs> December, that's Yo, thing. tomorrow, you know, I don't know the People days are, and the months they run I fast. You, my birthday, October, man, it's like, I'm not even remember. I mean, I think yeah, about December. Yeah, but I October, too. I mean, I tell you, coming like a December. October, whatever. 15th. October 15th. 
We have October 14 in our team. All right. You see me? Shevan yeah, born October the 14th. To a whole heap of superstar born October, October the 14th. Right, you know? Know? Yeah, man. Yeah? 26? 26 October. All right. So, yeah, man. Big bad Scorpion. You don't know him too much. Yeah, you know, it go already. But, yeah, man. So, you can make the people know your social media platforms now. Yeah, uh, one, one name, you know, um, yeah. Craig Weissmail, but the Craig spelled with a Q. Q R A I G. Voicemail, all platform, you know what I mean? From TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, I don't call it now X, I know Twitter no more, but yeah, all Treads. over the, anyway, any, Treads. anyway, any one of them, Treads, um, Telegram, whatever them want to call it. Yeah, Snapchat. Snapchat, <laughs> Craig Voicemail, you see me, I say, I'm going to big up my team and my family, yeah. Frankie Music, you see me, I say, you know, stay tuned. Frankie Music have so many great things ahead. You know what I mean? Big up Lali. Big up the whole family. So I said, Team Vice Mail, we're out here and we're keeping it right. JJ Wizzle, you don't know the family. You know, yeah. I have to big up. I'm going to big up my DJ. Yeah, man. JJ Wizzle, man. With the blocks, big up on yourself. The whole family. The DJ whole Guts. paper time. Family. Respect. You know what I mean? And I just know, you know. Yeah, man. And I just know. Right Pelper time. know the thing, go, man. Pelper time. Let's go. It. E e Boom! Piper Time Production! Big up to all of my viewers all over the world! You don't know, big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years! You don't know! Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit, your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot, you name it! So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelper Time TV Production! Big up on yourself! Pelpa TV! Pelpa time! Pelpa time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa time production! Pelpa time! Pelpa time production! The Pelpa TV! For Pelpa time! It's a Pelpa time, you know it's that time! Pelpa time TV! I'm governor representing of Pelpa time, you know? Pelpa time, you know what the thing top? I win as a Pelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee! I'm gonna Pelpa time and I represent for you see with Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time. I want to them, them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa time. Keep it locked. Time represent for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa. Yeah, man. Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa time TV. Cross. Help the time protection. Mm.